Jaguar Wright and Gene Deal are being sued by Jay-Z and Beyonce after they exposed how A-list celebrities are abusing minors with Diddy and Bad Boy Records. I could have just kept my mouth closed. Period. I didn't have to tell Ms. Wallace nothing. These new allegations reveal how some of the most powerful people in Hollywood were involved in the trafficking and rape of minors. And you are now going to believe what Diddy just said to Jay-Z after his arrest. Stay with us as we peel back the layers and take a deeper look into one of the most disgusting scandals Hollywood has ever seen. Many years, and that's the thing about platforms. The reality of the modern world is that pretty much everyone has a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invited her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jack, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored, uh, but like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theater, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologize to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Sean Diddy Combs, Jay-Z, and Beyonce are all under fire after Diddy's arrest, and the raid on his mansion in Miami revealed that Diddy wasn't working alone. Diddy's freak-off parties involved cooperation between some of the biggest people in Hollywood, the music industry, and even politics. Former presidents, British royalty, and even CEOs were all allegedly under the control of Diddy and Jay-Z and now all of this is being exposed for what it is. Beyonce, do you, just as evil in your opinion? Has she done things you know of? Is it yeah, Jay Z in your mind? What things. is the? I know a lot of things that that shameless hat has done, but her greatest sin is vanity. And I'm going to say this about you now, baby. Everybody who knows you knows you are dumb as a sack of hair. Truth is, if it wasn't for your singing and your dancing, you would have never been anything more than a shampoo girl in your mother's shop. You ain't got the common sense of a damn dog. But that's what not criminal. Are, <laughs> huh? It's not criminal. Is there? Is oh, there no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to get you there. 25 different lawsuits naming not only Diddy, but also a whole list of other A-list celebrities have been filed by Houston-based based attorney, Tony Busby. And allegedly, these people abused minors as young as seven years old. These cases are going to be tried publicly, which would destroy industry leaders if their lies are exposed. We intend to name people in these lawsuits. We're not gonna do it in interviews. We're not gonna do it, you know, without doing our due diligence, because obviously, you know, these types of, of allegations are very hurtful to people if they're not true and very hurtful, frankly, if they are true. But if they're true, you shouldn't have been in the room and you shouldn't have been participating. So I anticipate uh, that we're going to start filing uh, lawsuits and it may not be big names at first, but but we have a long list of names. And you might imagine in situations like this, that when when a victim tells us that this person was in the room or this person participated, we want to do as much due diligence as humanly possible before we file that case, because in the United States, uh, in almost every state, uh, public filings are in fact public. And you know, when you name somebody in a lawsuit, the press is gonna pick it up and we're aware of that. So we're gonna make sure that we dot our I's and cross our T's. And, and I expect that there will be some people named in, this law, in these lawsuits that will raise some eyebrows. Details about the lawsuits surrounding Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce are shocking. Allegedly, Diddy and Jay-Z used their influence to pressure minors into committing sexual acts with celebrities, and then later blackmailed these celebrities. Both the minors and the celebrities whom Diddy and Jay-Z needed leverage on would be drugged and then recorded during the crime. It was crazy. You know, he would be one of the celebrities that I definitely wouldn't think would be involved in anything illegal, for sure. But you gotta realize this, man. People who get caught up in certain those things like that, those parties and things like that, is that they don't go there looking for that stuff. You gotta understand, they get caught up in the moment with the alcohol, the drugs, and then certain uh, bottles 
that are laced with certain things that take you away from your normal self. And you end up probably doing something that you probably never do again in your life. You never get caught up in those things ever before. There are a lot of celebrities that go to these parties like this. Diddy and Jay-Z carefully planned and executed everything over the course of decades, and now all of their victims are speaking up. Allegedly, more than 1,000 victims have come forward with proof. These victims have verified doctor's reports, police reports, and in some cases, even videos that prove that Diddy and Jay-Z them. Both the record companies, Bad Boy Records and Rock Nation, were involved in the cover-up of this abuse. And now the truth is finally coming out. Um, another instance, another minor, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed a visit with him in private about it, away from uh, his parents. Once uh, they were in a private area, allegedly Mr. Combs made uh, the victim uh, perform oral sex upon him. Uh, another incident, uh, an individual 15 years old at the time flown uh, to New York City to attend a party, uh, was drugged and then taken into a private room, uh, allegedly in the presence of Mr. Combs, uh, where this uh, female individual minor was raped and then other individuals took turns raping her. Another individual, 26, at the time of the occurrence, uh, was picked up by, allegedly, by Mr. Combs and several other people uh, in a black SUV from the airport, uh, was given one drink in the SUV, and then literally woke up the next day not knowing what had happened, but with pain and damage to both her vagina and her anus, where she was then, she then went to the hospital. She was missing her underwear and her shoes. Another instance, an individual, uh, this time not a minor, uh, was attended a group dinner, allegedly with Sean Combs in Miami. Uh, she wasn't drinking because she was pregnant, uh, but she, whatever she drank at the table, apparently, at least according to her, was laced with something. She blacked out and she woke up in the same bed, again, allegedly, with Mr. Combs uh, in his uh, mansion in Miami. Her vagina and her anus were torn and sore. With these new allegations against Diddy and Jay-Z coming with proof and potentially the ability to incriminate some of the most powerful people in the world, everyone has started to distance themselves from the drama. Jay-Z, Beyonce, J-Lo, Aston Kutcher, and more People who were best friends with Diddy are all quiet and trying to escape attention. Hey, you go. Joe. Thank you. And, and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan for, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. Since we applaud you, I and, and I want to apologize for not sweating, but I but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool, and I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that. But I'm just so cool. Um, we 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 we, we, we. t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. Well, it truly is about the Benjamin. Yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah. He's, he's literally he's chilling. Well, now when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Oh, All right, we'll be right back with more. The idea that there are sexual predators in power. Mm -hmm. Not just in Hollywood, but I think in all across any, any place there's a boss with underlings in any <clears throat> corporation or any industry, you have a type of sexual politics that goes on that mm -hmm. can slide in between uh, appropriate ethics and, and decorum to, uh, let's see, inappropriate behavior to the point of harassment and, and uh, sexual pre pre predatory behavior. Well, I mean, I think people understand that, but the larger question, is there a culture of complicity in Hollywood where women are afraid to speak up because they'll be blacklisted. Men are afraid to speak up because 
either they're out of the same fear or, or they just think, well, this is the way the system works. I think, I think there's, there are people that say, hey, this is how it works, pure and simple, and this is why I got into it, and this is why I have power. This is how it works, and you have to understand that. Mm-hmm. That does not carry the day. Complicity, complicity is also, it's, it, complicity, the people who know, well, look, this is, this is how we do business, and that's mm-hmm. what it's got to be done. I'm sorry it's like that. So beware. That's also present. As we peel back the layers, we see that the conspiracy actually runs much deeper. Diddy is just the scapegoat, and in reality, the tapes that Diddy made incriminate a lot more than just some music producers. Just look at the bigger picture. Why would the feds raid Diddy's mansion when they already had proof? According to criminal defense lawyer Joe Brown, this is because the feds wanted to recover tapes that incriminate bigger names. Who could these people be? How do you feel about the situation that Diddy had? Uh, Let's say this. Something else is going on. They raid, They didn't raid, they searched with a warrant his premises on the West Coast, right? They searched his premises on the East Coast in Florida, right? On the same property that the premises was located that they searched in Florida, he had a second mansion. They didn't touch that one, why not? And when they walk out of there, they got a small trash bag and they have a medium-sized cardboard box. What was it they seized that would fit into those items? I have a sneaking suspicion from my background in criminal defense that what they seized was some evidence that was very incriminating to other people. Now, after they seized the evidence, they had no probable cause to arrest him on any crime. He hasn't been indicted. They talked to him at an airport before he got on a private jet to fly to an island that has no extradition agreement with the United States. Have you heard anybody trying to prosecute him? Not at all. So what did they do? See, the feds are interesting. Who served the search warrant? Homeland Security. Now, what the hell do they have to do with that? That's a FBI mandate. Some of the tapes that Diddy made have actually started to make their way into the public eye, and both TMZ and private collectors have managed to get their hands on them. Allegedly, Diddy is selling these tapes on the dark web. Eight tapes have even been handed over to the FBI and Homeland Security by Courtney Burgess. Courtney claims he was given these tapes by Diddy's ex-wife, Kim Porter. Records. Mm-hmm. You made a lot of allegations, right? Um, Are you expected to eventually turn those things over or? Well, that's what we're gonna head over to do now. So we have a hearing now to determine what we're gonna do in terms of what documents we'll we'll have to turn over and what documents we do not. So why were you in court today? Just to give testimony to the grand jury. Um, He was subpoenaed by the court. So as we all know, if you don't answer a subpoena, you will, the marshals will come to your house as they came to his house and they will bring you here. So that's why we're here today. I know you can't mention celebrities per se. You did mention some in the, in the interview. Um, so just to clarify, you can back that up with actual factual footage. We, we have, yeah, it's things that we have, but we gotta go to the other courthouse. So I don't know if that's the, any more questions, but we gotta, we got another hearing. Are with. you nervous or do you feel cool? Nah, I ain't never nervous. The only thing that's fair to me is God. But I know you did mention what was on the flash drive before. Would you be able to kind of go over that now? Or is that something that you can't discuss? No, we're trying to just go to discuss that now, what we will be able to talk to in terms of what was available and what, what was on those flash drives. Okay. But it was the book, so. So it, so, so it is Kim Porter's book, but not necessarily some of the stuff with the celebs that were mentioned besides. It's hers, nobody touched it. Oh, so it is her official yeah. book. Yes, nobody. And, and, and no one touched nobody it. Nobody altered it, no. Okay. So it's not the copy that the gentleman said that he was selling before, no? No. It's two different copies. That one was edited, and we have the original copy. There is going to be, there are a lot of people in Hollywood who are probably worried about uh, which Diddy parties they were at and what was going on. Uh, that's not to say that they were necessarily even involved in any of the things uh, that are alleged by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But if you're at that party and it turns out that that's when uh, he set up one of these freak off uh, sex parties or that it was going on. Uh, in another room and you didn't know about it, there's a good chance that you're going to be called by the U.S. Attorney's Office. If you're, And certainly if you were involved, um, you would get a call because they're going to want to know everything you want to know and may even want you to be a witness. I just think, you know, we're just starting to scratch the surface of what this case 
who it's, this case is going to touch and involve. And the, uh, and the, the feds have said that this is, remains an open investigation. There could be more charges for Diddy. There could be more charges for other people involved. Um, and usually the way this works is once they find out other people are involved or were witnesses, they bring them in and they sort of lean on them. And it's sort of like you're going to cooperate with us or there is a possibility that you could face charges. So uh, this is going to be a, um, a, a slow developing uh, a case here because we're just getting started. I, and I don't see how this... Jay-Z and Beyonce are desperately trying to keep the situation from going ballistic and have even resorted to ordering hits on the people who are speaking out about them. Both Gene Deal and Jaguar Wright have received threats and cease and desist orders. According to Big Homie CC, Jaguar Wright needs to stay safe because this is when murders usually happen. That is for Roddy writing for Al Green. Take me through them not wanting to let her in the club. She showed up to a place. Some of the people in there was loyal to some of the people she was speaking out about. They wouldn't let her in, and she wasn't going for that. <laughs> she started setting it up. She started bugging up on the guys. They had to call the police on old girl. <laughs> oh, bro. Jaguar Wright get wild, bro. And Damn. if something happened to her, I just want to tell Jaguar Wright, be careful. She just went on Pierce Morgan. Beyonce and Jay-Z sent Pierce Morgan a cease and desist. Made, made Pierce Morgan publicly apologize. Today, it's about to get dangerous for a lot of people. So if you out here doing what you're doing, because y'all not me. So you better be on your P's and Q's. It's about to get ugly. This is when people start to turn up dead right now. So keep that in mind. Jaguar Wright has specifically called out Jay-Z and Beyonce, accusing them of orchestrating a campaign to silence her and others who are stepping forward with allegations. Jaguar insists that these celebrities are pulling strings behind the scenes, leveraging their influence to suppress evidence and target whistleblowers. How many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Paul? people against their will. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Listen, like I said, Jay-Z and Beyonce are not here, uh, unfortunately, to respond to that. I know. Um, I I'm just being honest with you. You're perfectly entitled to your to your views, obviously. Uh, Kim Porter, yes. a new book claims that Diddy may have been involved in her early death. What do you think of that? I, I think people should really look into that more. I am friends with Albie Shore. I love him. I love his children. I, I knew Kim. We used to all hang out together at the Kit Kat Club back in the mid-90s when Diddy was first starting his reign. I watched that whole thing happen. And everything that Albert has been through, every attempt on his life that has been ignored by the authorities, it all leads back to Diddy. And everyone knows it. The wiretapping of the phones, putting air tag on children during visits. These are normal practices that these people do. Jaguar. Um, I've got to leave it there. I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. And thank you for caring. I do care. Thank you very much. With more victims coming forward, mounting lawsuits and shocking revelations, 
it seems the power players in the industry are scrambling to protect their secrets. But as the evidence piles up and more whistleblowers like Jaguar Wright and Gene Deal speak out, one thing is clear. The truth will no longer stay buried.